So we built that loan amortization table and the hope is that it would change every year, right? And we'd see the loan decrease over time and we'd figure out when we would reach zero. But we have an issue. Did you figure out what it is? Every year we're starting with the same loan amount and that's not true. We don't need to start with the same loan amount because we paid off part of it last year. So we have an issue here where your number of your beginning balance is wrong because it's the same every single year and that's not what you want. What I want to also point out before we remove this is notice it didn't move, it didn't change. It always grabbed this number up here. We named this loan amount and that essentially created an absolute reference. So no matter what I do when I fill handle down, it stays as loan amount. It doesn't move down. The blue doesn't move down. I don't need dollar signs. I don't need anything else. Notice the interest rate in years stayed the same. The monthly payments stayed the same. Those are all because we named them and created absolute references. But I don't want loan amount every time. I only want it that first year. The first year I want to go grab this number. The second year, what's my beginning balance? The second year, my beginning balance is the previous ending balance. So I'm going to type an equal sign here for year two. I'm going to grab the previous ending balance in C12. Now, as I move down, do I want C12 to continue to move down? Yeah, because I wanted to grab the next year and the next year and the next year and the next year. So I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to take just the beginning balance in year two, and I'm going to fill handle that down through the end of the years. And you will see that it starts to work, right? I'm seeing that as I go throughout the years, the amount I pay in principal every year is growing and the amount I pay in interest every year is decreasing. However, there's an issue here. When we hit year 20, some things happen. It starts going negative, okay? Why is it going negative at year 20? Well, how long is your loan? Your loan's only 20 years. So if you kept paying it, yeah, you'd be going negative because you'd be paying money you don't need to pay, right? So what we need to do is we need to figure out how to tell Excel that when you reach this number of years, stop calculating. Just be zero. Stop calculating when you've reached this number of years. How could we make it change this calculation, PV, to only occur when there's years left? I want you to think about that. Are we creating a criteria, a rule for it to follow? Okay, what's the rule though? If the number of years is less than or equal to the years of the loan, keep calculating. If the number of years is more than the number of years of the loan, stop calculating. So we could essentially use an if function. If the loan has years that are less than what it is, keep calculating. If it's more, stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to nest. And when I say nest, we're going to take this present value function and we're going to make it only occur if the years is meeting the criteria we want. And that's what we're going to do in the next video.